it. Thanks for having me, uh, Janisburg. Okay, I'm from uh, uh, Wentworth, born and raised in Wentworth, uh, married to a lovely wife, our lovely wife Samantha. How we share a daughter, Natalia Shanaz. Been living in Durban for quite, well, basically all my life. Lived also in East London, and yeah, settled in Newlands East. That's Lawrence Palmer. Very passionate for community service. Uh, yeah. Um, putting God first and uh, allowing God to use me as a banner. Mm. Ubuntu started in uh, 2012. It started in a small neighborhood watch, or a neighborhood uh, called Adams, where I met two amazing, amazing, amazing guys. One was uh, Opa Gabriel Jones, or Opa AK Gabriel Jones. He was much older than me, he had a passion for community. In fact, the, the community where I moved into, that was Albuquerque, people spoke highly of Gabriel and I wanted to know more about Gabriel and just to see his work that he did in the community. Like he, he was from a construction company, mm. you know, uh, people couldn't afford to put a, 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 a wall and he would say, what, I'll do it, whatever you have, I'll do it that. And he built the wall the way the people like. So people like respected Gabriel. He was a man that would give back. Okay, then I met also another uh, young man, a young version of myself, Adrian Joseph. And Adrian like, had a passion for football. He was the guy that organized games in the in, the, in that little neighborhood. And uh, yeah, and then when they met me, they wanted to know me. I was more uh, passionate in community safety because I'm from a security background. And my passion was also for God, you know. And yeah, we gelled and we discussed how we could save our community from crime because our, our community or the neighborhood that I moved into called Albuquerque was riddled with crime, housebreaks, uh, theft out of motor vehicle. And I said, okay, let us form, uh, we, together we all decided, let us form a neighborhood watch. And then I remember Gabriel saying to me, how are we gonna sustain it? Because neighborhood watches, they start and they die, you know? Mm. And then we said, let's try it. Let's go from door to door and get all the men out. From their houses meet in this dilapidated park uh, the, where the children played and you know our colored communities in fact i won't even say colored in every community you'll find a park that is just basically with no swings or nothing for kiddies to play with you know and um yeah anyway we said no we'll do something we'll try let us try the community watch first let's try and bring the crime down and let's see what other ideas that come up that can come out of it you know mm. oh about 30 odd men assembled in a dilapidated park after our knocking on the door, you know, door to door visits. And yeah, and um, we gathered there and then we just motivated each other about crime and what are we going to do as fathers for our families, you know? Yeah, and um, we started our neighborhood watch, uh, just the patrols from, you know, in the streets and caught some skebengus, you know, they call them paras today. Mm. And we made, we, we, we left good examples behind. You know, they never ever came back into our district because they saw how tight we were. And then uh, the question came up, how are you going to sustain it? Or how do we, we don't want it to start and then die because most neighborhood watches, they start and they die. Mm. So we came together and we said, okay, why don't we have like programs like uh, keeping the community uh, clean, clean up, you know, community cleanups mm. in this little neighborhood, neighborhood called Adam uh, Albuquerque. And um, we decided, okay, we're going to do the cleanups mm. once a week. I mean, there's a lot of litter. And as we pick up these papers and whatever garbage or bottles, you know, with our, our guys there in the neighborhood, they like to drink and they throw their bottles. This is all now happening in the park now? In the, no, in this little community called Albuquerque. Oh, okay. Not in the park as in? No, not the no. park. Well, everyone would dump in that park. Oh, okay. You know, they dump their, you know, you know how the mm. women or children, they'll dump all their yes. garbage there. Yeah, so we decided, no, we're going to do this cleanup. And and the lead was, was actually Gabriel. He was the main guy there. I remember there's another youngster that was with him. His name was Abel. I don't know his, his uh, uh, right name. I think it's Ryan. Mm. Okay. They were also together, you know, doing this before even my time, apparently. But when I got to know Gabriel and Adrian, we decided to work as a team with the youngsters in, from the community. Ubuntu started uh, on the 3rd of June, 2018. That was last year. 
and uh, it started with three families the the goodman family the, the 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 parker family and the summers family all we wanted to do is bring the community together because in newlands people you know we're tired of hearing that newlands is divided so we decided no we're going to do something in the park where we can get get people together and just talk to them about life in newlands east and you know that there are social ills that go with it we want people to work together to try and you know what i mean uh, minimize uh, a lot that's happening in homes like you know in homes it's broken homes we got youngsters that are involved in drugs we got uh, uh, uh divorces divorce rates is high and stuff like that we got even in our community where we are people there's negative talks about uh, the councillors doing nothing and if you look at newlands there is absolutely nothing for the people you know no entertainment or to do you know to do with people you know mm. and then we decided uh, to come to the park right and but you know we uh, uh, coming there was basically saying look we are one people we are one community and if we work together you know what i mean we make our community a better place mm. um ubuntu we 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 what we do uh, since 2018 it attracted a lot of people mm. from different from newlands in fact uh, uh, uh people in, within newlands and people beyond from Wentworth, Madden Ridge, Sydney, people come along now and picnic in this park. It's uh, held at Thresher Park, and on the on the first Sunday of every month, and uh, from nine from nine in the morning to five. And uh, we what we do when we meet, in fact, we uh, uh, we allow young people to uh, showcase their talents mm. uh, and stuff like that. We also uh, talk about. A lot of things <clears throat> involving uh, community, uh, um, cleaning up the community, cleanups, uh, uh, working with government structures, stuff like that. Uh, when we do meet on on the Sunday or uh, of the day of the events, we always start off with the South African anthem. Mm. Um, the South African anthem is sang by all, and then after that, we we also approach uh, um, um, religious leaders from different faiths to come and open up with a prayer and then from there to inspire the community that's there mm. yeah that's mm. what happens uh, at ubuntu um it's growing it's growing very 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 big and uh people are coming and they are believing that they we can make a difference if we work together